Well, I said September was going to be a busy month, and it was. <laughs> We've moved, we're in our new house, and I'm just out with Louis on top of the moor for our morning walk. The moon's still out. Don't know if you can see that on camera. And the sun's just coming up over there in the east. Anyway, we're all in, we're all happy. I'm really pleased with the house. I love the location. It's not a bad spot for a morning walk, is it? And then on the following Monday, we got a new addition to the family. Oh yeah, she comes on the morning walk. Rosie, hello. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> Is it nice and warm in there? Is it? <laughs> Hello darling. And she's just been incredible. Toilet training hasn't really been an issue at all. She loves chewing, being a puppy and teething. But apart from that... Oh, you're beautiful. She sleeps most of the night. So we go to bed about half past nine, ten o'clock. And then... Uh, Four o'clock in the morning, we. This way, Rosie. Good girl, on the garden. On the garden. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She's done really well considering we went to bed at half past nine. Quarter to ten. It's now half past four. She wakes me up about half past three, four o'clock. She goes for a wee in the garden and then back to sleep till about six o'clock, which is ideal for us. It's me and you, Louis are usually out early. Here she comes. Hey, you come for a look around? You come for a look around, Rosie? Have you? Hmm? Say hello to people on camera. Hey? You all right in there? Louis's doing well with her. He's really just keeping out of the way. But uh, he's been fine, absolutely fine. I think strange house, new location, and a puppy coming in is a lot for him to contend with. But it's not bothered him. He's just been Louis. He's got his thick snap togs coat on this morning. It's a bit windy on top of the moor. But it's beautiful. Really makes you feel alive when you wake up and you get somewhere like this first thing in the morning. You can have mist in the valley over there if you can see it. And I must say it's lovely to be able to live somewhere where there's more sheep than people. <laughs> we've been in the house for just over a week now and uh, we've got most of the boxes unboxed. I just need to buy a bit more furniture and then uh, we're just about sorted really. Got doors to change and various bits and pieces to do as you, you find with an old house. Some electrics to sort out. But apart from that, yeah, really, really happy. We got lots of beautiful photographs of being on these walks in the morning, even just in a week. I'll put a few of those in now so you can have a look. A tree, I remember how it started. I was lost in a dream when the fire in my heart said, and open a rose. I've already found some light, the feeling grows, and anything sounds all. This wax barber jacket has got poacher's pockets inside and it's just big enough for a nine week old whippet. Isn't it Rose, eh? And when your ears get cold you can snuggle in. She's lovely and warm, she's like an hot water bottle. But as you can see she's teething at the moment so any opportunity to chew anything. 
So we've had to pu puppy proof the house. But isn't she adorable? She's had one of her she's had one of her injections and she's been chipped, so she's nine now, so when she's twelve weeks old she can go to the vets and uh, have her other two injections and she can get out a bit more. You just gotta be careful she doesn't pick anything up in the interim. That's why we're carrying her most places. But she has been to pub. The training has started early. First full day and we're in a pub or a planning room. Needs to be done, doesn't it? Gotta be done. Cheers everybody. Surrounded by whippets. Day one, training complete. What do you reckon, Rosie? What do you reckon? Carried her all the way to the pub. <laughs> You've got to take this training seriously, haven't you? But if you don't uh, follow us on Instagram, there's lots and lots of pictures of her and uh, some of the photographs we've taken up here as well. And on Instagram, we're um, Whip It One Man and His. I'll put the link below. But if you want to see loads of pictures of Rosie and some video clips and some lovely photographs up on top of the moors in the morning, have a look up there. What do you reckon? What do you have to say, Rosie? Hmm? Rosie? <laughs> hey? Not for everybody, but this is my idea of a dream. I've been coming up to the North York Mall since I was a kid. Uh, on the council estate we lived in, there was a, a walking club run by the local church, or from the local church. We used to come walking on the weekend. Packed up with cheese and pickle sandwiches on a coach and off to various places. And one of the common places was the North York Moors. So I've probably been coming up here since I was about 12. But to be finally be able to live up here is just a dream come true. It's so, so peaceful. It's a dark sky area as well. So the stars on the night are just incredibly beautiful. I mean, as you know, I do a bit of sailing and I've done some mountaineering. And you see great star formations there, but uh, it's like that here. All you need is a clear night. I think we've got one street light. <laughs> you reckon, Rosie? Is that a big whippet? Is that a big whippet? Looks like you. What is it? What are they? And of course, all Louis wants to do is run up and down the garden and chase his ball as Rosie wants to eat everything. Hey Lou, where's your ball? Where's your ball? Some little girl likes her food. Louis <laughs> over that side of the room, I believe. Louis gets his first. He's the boss, apparently. One of the best things we got for Rosie is this massive cage. And it's on wheels, so it's on casters, so you can wheel it about. It comes with a, a lifting lid. But we don't really need that. <laughs> She's obviously tiny. Um, lovely atch latches on there. Comes in flat pack. And it has this plastic floor inside. Which is cleanable. Easy to wash down. And we just put a small bed in there. And a food. She's got Louis leftovers as well. But uh, she likes it in there. And we can use this as like a play pen. So it was delivered in flat pack. You have to screw the wheels on yourself. There's a few bolts you have to put in the corners as you unfold it. But it's been a godsend, really. It's like a playpen for Rosie. So um, if we're busy or we have to do something and we just want to make sure she's going to be safe and not chewing on something she shouldn't be chewing, we can put her in here. 
she's got plenty of room. She oh. hasn't done it as yet, but if she is caught short and needs to go to the loo, she can go there and it's easy to clean up. And we could literally just wheel it about. I'll put the link in the description below where we got it from and the company we got it from. It wasn't expensive at all considering the quality of it. We do have crates that uh, we've had for Louis and Ben, but nothing of this size. And it's just great. We just move it around the kitchen, it wheels into the living room. And um, when the weather's good, we can even put it in the garden. It's just a safe environment for her to be in, where we know she's got some room, she's got some comfort in there. And um, she quite likes it as well. She's often asleep snoring in there. Yeah, all those bowls wasn't full of food. <laughs> She'd like them to be though. I'll do a separate video about what we feed in there, what food and what treats we're using. Um, but we'll do that in a later video. She's not used to wearing that collar. We've put that on just for ease, just to have a long training lead on her so we can grab the training lead if we need to. But that cage is just brilliant. And there's a, there's a slot in here so you can actually slot the, the uh, trays out and um, there's a metal grid that fits in there as well and the quality of it it's excellent really is good quality and it comes in a flat pack which is about this size it's about six inches in a cardboard box and it literally takes i don't know two minutes to put together really simple you put bolts through these holes here and we've only put them in at the top loosely just to hold it together but there are bolts that go in each corner and we haven't even used them all and as I say, we don't really need the top on it. We've just put it on because it come with it. We're actually using it as a shelf when we pack it in the corner. It sits in that corner of the room and all this stuff here is what I've taken off it. <laughs> and uh, if we need to quieten it down, we've got this big brown blanket and we just literally lay this over top and cover it up to make it a darker area for her. And when she's had a mad runabout, or when she's had a meal and after she's been in the garden, she'll sleep it off in there. Don't you, Louie? Don't you, Louie? Don't you, Rosie? Don't you, Rosie? Don't you? Are you beautiful? Are you beautiful? Hmm? <laughs> we don't keep her in there um, and leave her in there. Um, if we did, we'd take a collar off. We wouldn't have a harness on her a collar so she didn't get caught in anything. But there's very little for her to get caught into. It's just like a safe environment, it's like a playpen for her, that she can be in there, she can see all around what's going on. And uh, we know where she is and she's not going to get trodden on, and she's not going to uh, chew something she shouldn't be chewing. So I could hardly recommend one of them, absolute brilliant piece of kit. As I say, I'll put in the description where we got it from and all the details about it. Sit down, sit, sit. Good girl, good girl. Come, ah, sit, sit, Rosie, sit, sit, sit. Good girl, good girl. Shh, 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 gently. Sit. Good girl. Sit down. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Sit. Yes, good girl. Rosie, Rosie, sit, sit. That's a good girl. Rosie, sit, sit down. That's a good girl. Rosie, sit. Good girl. Oh, dropped it. Where is it gone? Good girl. Good girl. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Ah, no, no. No! Good girl. <laughs> Don't eat the camera. <laughs> Hello, Rosie. Hello. What do you think to the beach?
Rosie. Hey. Can you roll right now, Gail? <laughs> There's little Luke. Oh.